Hey gang, this is Charles for Premier Guitar. Winter Nam 2013 in Anaheim, California. I'm here with Lloyd Bags, and he's going to tell us all about the new lyric. Would you call it a lyric? lyric yeah, okay. Lyric. He's got lots of lyrics, but this is the lyric. Yeah. So, so what we did here is we we've always been trying to make a microphone work inside of a guitar, and that's been full of problems. And it's mostly because the inside of a guitar is full of problems. It's nasty, kind of honky inside, reflections, echoes. And so the, the holy grail has always been, how do you get, the, get, the, get a microphone inside of a guitar to behave like it's on the outside of the guitar? So we have this patent pending microphone here. That's a, it's a pressure zone microphone that averages what's going on inside the top. But we're using a noise canceling capsule so it cancels all reflections inside the body and it only hears what's coming off the top in the first generation of waves. So in, in essence, it's like having a microphone protected inside the guitar, but really acting like it's on the outside. So the entire output is really the first impulse, the first thing the guitar is hearing. That's the entirety of the exactly, output. Exactly, exactly. So, so any of the secondary vibrations, any of the reflections get canceled mechanically by the capsule. So there's no modeling, no computer, no digital tricks. It's all just what the guitar is doing. And, it, and since it's a microphone, it reflects the personality and the character of each instrument that you put it in. You find it very, very transparent? There's no intrinsic basic tone to it? Well, it's, it's really pretty flat. Yeah. And uh, we've got some, uh, this is the first product that we've ever applied for a patent on our electronics on because to make it stable and and to match the dynamics of the guitar, we've got a lot of dynamic mo uh, modification going on inside of here. Again, it's all analog, but we've got three or four stages of limiters and compression at various frequency points along the way to match the dynamics of the guitar. So consequently, it's, it's, it's kind of uncanny how loud you can actually play this also. Sure. It's, it's not as stable as our, as our magnetic pickups, but we have a guy uh, that I'll introduce here to you in a minute, uh, Keith Sewell with Lyle Lovett, who we prototyped the first one to. He plays 2,000 seat arenas, two or three, uh, 2,000 seat venues, two or three times a week. And he's playing in front of wedges and it's working really good for him. So I th the thing that's most excited, exciting to me is that we've been able to take a true mic'd experience put it on the inside of the guitar, make it sound like it's actually on the outside of the guitar, and there's, it's just physics, there's no tricks. And so we're, we're getting really good response to this thing. And it's because what I think everybody's really wanted since day one is, how, you know, and so there's no pickup in here at all. It's just a mic. Okay, now you also have a very, very streamlined control set here, which is a, beauty, a thing of beauty in itself. And uh, what are we looking at? Well, that's just a volume control, plain and simple. As dumb and simple as it gets, but so, brilliant and it's well, simple. It's, the whole idea here is plug and play. So we've, we've uh, contoured, there's very little EQ in the microphone actually. We put a little contour in it, but it's really, it's, it's just pretty much what you sees is what you gets. Very nice. Well, should we uh, go hear this thing in action? Let's, let's All right, cool. All right, Lloyd, tell us who we're uh, gonna have the pleasure of hearing here. Well, this is Keith Sewell. He's currently on the road with Lyle Lovett. He was the band leader for the Dixie Chicks, and he played with Ricky Skaggs for five years. So he's a pretty talented musician, and you know, he, he and I actually, uh, he, he was the one that pushed me to do this product. And uh, he, he came to our shop, and, and one, one morning he says, hey, you think we could? And I went, I don't know, are you game? He goes, you, try, you test it out for me? He said, yeah, I'll test it. I said, okay, if you ain't scared, I ain't scared, so let's go for it. And so he took it on the road and he, he and I have been working together to, um, to, to get it into its final form and to re finally refine it. So Keith, uh, could you uh, take it away here, please, for us? You know, it doesn't react like a pickup does, you know. It, it's uh, if it, under your fingers on the guitar, it just feels like a, like a mic. And, Kind of brings out all those little nuances that you know, that you that you have when you're sitting sitting down with your guitar by yourself, you know, and kind of allows those things to be heard, you know, louder. And so, uh, from that standpoint, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of beyond my expectations. But uh, cool, man. Can we hear some? Thank you. 
Awesome. Now the first thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is my imagination or not, but those really punchy notes don't have much junk in them, no artifacts, sound very, very organic. Is that my imagination or not? Yeah, because you know, when you plug an acoustic guitar in, essentially it's electric, you know? Uh, and uh, when you've got uh, you know an undersaddle or whatnot, you know it's all when you kind of when you do jump on it, those dynamics you know they're just real unnatural and quacky, you know. And so this is basically uh, you know it's it's picking it up the way a mic would. Although um, I don't think you could uh, if I had a, a world class condenser mic right here, and I was trying to mic it from outside the guitar right here, I don't think you'd be able to hear it in here you wouldn't be able to probably d differentiate all the notes and it wouldn't you know it'd be we'd have some problems you know so it's pretty impressive that you know he's doing all this from inside the guitar you know and it's uh it's able to be heard so there's a lot of definition in each of those notes too isn't there? So we've we've had some people so far tell us that have heard uh, we've, we've done a number of uh, direct recordings with this and people that have experienced it and heard, heard experienced it live and played it, and have heard the recordings, have pretty much universally said that it's just one of the best acoustic guitar sounds recorded that they've ever heard. Now, now we didn't devise this for as a recording tool. We really weren't. That wasn't really our intention. But still, the idea is one, one. A couple of guys said this is like having a couple of ribbon microphones outside the guitar. Only you can take it on stage. So some unexpected benefits makes this pretty versatile then. Yeah, it was it, it's it's big, it's big, it's more versatile than we had actually expected, and it's it's this it looks like it's going to have a pretty broad uh, appeal here, a broader appeal than we had originally thought. So we're very excited and thrilled. Genuinely exciting stuff. Well, thanks a lot, Lloyd. Uh, this is out now. Yes, it's available now. All right. Go down to the shop, check it out. And where should people check it out in the online world? You have a website. Yes, www.lrbags.com. Right. Hello, Lloyd. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Matt. This is Charles. For uh, more NAM goodies, go check out uh, our YouTube channel. And uh, signing off from Anaheim 2013. Cheers.